As you can probably tell from how I'm dressed, I am not speaking to you today as Professor Wagner. I am speaking to you as just the average American swing voter. It's Saturday, and I just got back from a nice long bicycle ride here in St. Augustine. Well, when I was in the touristy center of town, these three or four older gentlemen all came through with tricorder hats and various signs. The first one caught my eye. It stated, Restore the Bill of Rights. I'm all for that. The second one stated, Impeach Obama. Then the third one, Obama's a communist. Um, this is a message for the whole Tea Party movement. Um, for starters, you guys know probably that there's a segment of the population you will never ever reach. Uh, the people with the Obama phones, you know who I'm talking about. They're never going to support you, you don't even need to worry about them. On the other side, you've got yourselves, each other, your base. You don't have to convince each other to support your cause, and you can probably make radical slogans like Obama's a communist and you'll all cheer and feel good about it. It's people like me you need to be concerned about, the average American swing voter. We're the ones you need to win over. And when I see signs that state, restore the Bill of Rights, I love it. I'm a proud American. I love the Bill of Rights. I'm happy to see that. I also like the flag with the snake on it and the don't tread on me. That's great. As for the tricorder hats, well, not everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. I, mean, I like a little anachronism here and there. But when I see Obama's a communist, you know, it's not doing much for your cause. And when I saw that, I heard these young men who probably looked like the average student in my classroom. And they were snickering and saying, oh, look at those crazy old men. They say Obama's a communist. Ha ha ha. And who could blame them? I mean, most of us have grown up in the post-Soviet era. Red baiting just doesn't appeal to us. Look, guys, communism's dead. We should be happy communism's dead, not fearing it. I mean, even the communists don't believe in communism anymore. It was several decades ago that the Chinese Communist Party invited Milton Friedman to the country to teach them about capitalism. Look, do you guys want to spread your message or what? Now, you have a lot of excellent points. We can't keep running up this kind of debt. It's nearly $17 trillion. We can't keep running trillion-dollar deficits every year. And we seriously need to be concerned about the erosion of the Bill of Rights in the name of national security. If you will focus on that message and spread it, you will reach people like me. Look, I would be happy to march with people who want to restore the Bill of Rights, but I wouldn't be caught dead with a group of people who call Obama a communist. And when I teach American politics, probably somewhere along the way, I tell the students briefly what communism is, and it's not Obama. Now, you might not agree with me. It doesn't even matter. The point is you're making fools of yourselves. And me telling you this is not meant to attack you. It's because I seriously want to help you. Um, I want your message to be able to reach ordinary people like me, people who are not polarized, people who have little interest in Fox News or MSNBC. We watch CNN and we listen to NPR, perhaps. These, we're the people you need to be reaching with your message. My advice is take a good look in the mirror, have a couple of meetings with each other, and ask yourselves, is your goal to make yourselves feel good? Because I know it feels good to you when you call Obama a communist. Is that your goal to pat yourselves on the back? Uh, yeah, we called Obama a communist. Or do you want to reach people? Do you want to spread? Do you want to get people who maybe aren't entirely on your side, but people who might be willing to support you on some issues? That's how you'll make an impact on government policy, by persuading swing voters like me. Anyway, I hope you will take my message to heart and not just react with a huh, liberal college professor, another communist probably. Because seriously, guys, we do need to be having a lot of discussion about these issues you raise. So I'd much rather you present your message in a way that's palatable to average young swing voters like myself. Thank you.